Yes. If A, B, and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events, then examine the following statements. A, B, and C, three events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. What is the simple rule for mutually exclusive and exhaustive events? Okay. If A, B, and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events, then summation of probability of all these three should be 1. Yes. Now the first statement given is P of A 2 by 5, P of B 3 by 7 and P of C 6 by 35. We require to check whether this statement is true or false. So for this purpose we have to add the probabilities of all these three. P of A plus P of B plus P of C equals to 2 by 5 plus 3 by 7 plus 6 by 35. Let us take 35 as LCM. 35 divided by 5, 7. 7 into 2, 40. Plus 35 divided by 7, that is 5. 5 into 3, 15. Plus 35 divided by 35, 1. 1 into 6, 6. So it is 35 by 35. That means 1. A, B and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. So the sum of the probability of all these three should be 1 and it is 1. So the statement is true. The rule is followed. In the second case, if we go for P of A plus P of B plus P of C, it is 2 by 3 plus 3 by 5 plus 1 by 9. We have to take LCM of 45. 45 divided by 3, 15. 15 into 2, 30. Plus 45 divided by 5, 9. 9 into 3, 27. 45 divided by 9, 5. 5 into 1, 5. It comes to 62 divided by 45. That is not equal to 1 or greater than 1. So, the statement is not true. Now, the third case, a tricky one. A, B and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. P of A given to me 0.42, P of B given to me 0.6 and P of C given to me minus 0.02. The landmark case is P of C is minus 0.02. No need of summation. If you try to get summation 0.42, plus 0 0.6, 1.02, minus 0 0.02, it comes to 1, but it is wrong. Because the statement is not true. Why? No probability can be negative. Probability of any event is always between 0 and 1. It can never be negative. So, without any arithmetical process, we should say that the statement is not true because probability can never be negative. 